Hey everybody. So, this isn't going to be a makeup related video. This is actually on a more serious topic. I watched the news today at work and I don't know if many of you saw the video a couple months back of a young woman she went live on Facebook where her boyfriend, herself, and her child were stopped by the police. I believe it was in Philadelphia. And he explained, the gentleman explained to the police officer that he had a firearm and that he was licensed to carry. During this stop could have been a traffic stop it doesn't matter of course he was asked to produce an ID and a license you know as with any traffic stop and as he goes to produce it according to the police officer he told him not to reach but the gentleman in the car explained the situation. Fully explained that he had a firearm and he was licensed to carry. He let the officer know this for just dis disclosure, full disclosure. Sorry, I'm not crying about it. It's just I have allergies and my eyes water. Anyway, the officer shot this man. I'm not sure how many times he shot him, but the simple fact is this man was shot in his car and he was killed instantly. Pretty much died right there in front of his girlfriend and his four-year-old daughter. The reason why I'm touching on this video is because it disturbed me. It really disturbed me because the officer in this case was found not guilty. And it disturbs me because well he said that he did not want to shoot the man, that wasn't his intention, but he thought he was going to die. Now, if he's explaining to you that he has this firearm and that he has a license to carry, he's basically explaining to you, like, look, hey, I've got this, I just want to let you know that I do have this, I have a license to carry, so you have nothing to worry about from me. I'm just letting you know that I have this so that if you ask me to step out the car and you find this, we won't have a bigger more serious situation. Common sense, right? That would be the logical thing. Why this disturbs me so much is because of the four-year-old child that was in the back seat who witnessed this entire thing. She witnessed it from start to finish. She's four. She was four. This is a situation that no little girl should ever be exposed to. No child should be exposed to. And I cannot fathom like like what how the judge and the jury and the police officer can go home to their families and go to sleep at night knowing that you just let this man walk free from killing someone and essentially traumatizing a four-year-old girl. How are you okay with this? This isn't about race. It has nothing to do with race. This is a simple right and wrong. 
and just I feel as though if you are a police officer you take an oath to protect and serve that is the oath that you take when you put on that badge when you put on that uniform you put on that badge and you go out and you risk your life day in and day out and I'm pretty sure us as American citizens can appreciate what these good police officers do. I'm going to have a little bit of water. I'm pretty sure us being good Samaritans can appreciate that. I feel as though, and this is just my opinion, Just my opinion. If you are a police officer, and yes, it is a scary situation to go out into the field day in and day out. You are basically putting your life on the line. And my thing is this. When you are going out to put your life on the line, I would assume that they taught police officers in the police academy to be prepared for any situation. Any situation. Because yes, anything can happen. I totally get it. I get it. I totally get it. But if you are that terrified to where you have to pull your weapon off of a full disclosure statement, I don't think you should be out in the field. I am not going to say that you should not be a police officer, but I don't think you should be out in the field if you are this terrified of a situation that could have gone a completely other different direction that would not have to be that would that would not have to result in someone losing their life and it wouldn't have to result in a four-year-old girl being traumatized she this little girl was brave very very brave Because during this entire video, she did not cry, she did not holler, she did not scream. She simply told her mother that it is okay, I am right here with you. What four-year-old child knows how to do that? Watching this video, watching this video, I hate having allergies, guys. Watching this video... And seeing that little girl and how she reacted to the situation, I am fully convinced that this child, as young as she is, knows the difference between life and death. She has to know. I don't know what adrenaline, can adrenaline kick in for a child? Did something just click in her brain? And I fear that she is going to be severely traumatized by this. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting over a really bad allergy attack. <sighs> Allergies are the worst for me this time of year. I wonder if when she grows up, I have a fear that she's going to have a huge problem with authority. And that she's not going to be, she's going to be more afraid, well, less afraid of some thug out there. And more afraid of the person who's supposed to protect her from the thug. The police officer that is supposed to protect her and keep the streets safe. For when she does become a young woman and is able to go out and take care of herself. I'm praying for this little girl. I'm praying for this little girl's mother. I am praying for their family. I'm 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 praying for the community because 
this was a terrible situation and this was a terrible situation that this four-year-old girl should have never laid eyes on. Like I said, this has nothing to do with race. I myself have a very big heart when it comes to children. There is no reason why this little four-year-old girl should have witnessed that. She should have never witnessed that. And it baffles me because there are so many, I've seen so many videos of this. This isn't the first time I've seen it. I'm having extreme post nasal drip issues. Bear with me. I'm not really caring in this video. This isn't the first video that I've seen of this. I have seen more than one video of a police officer smashing in a window. Tasing a person. There was a child in the back seat who saw the whole thing. Nine times out of ten, well, ten times out of ten, these children are under the age of ten. Nine times out of ten, they are under the age of five. And this is just an opinion that I have. You may have something different, but this is just my opinion. These children are going to grow up having a huge problem with anyone in the position of authority, especially a police officer. I've seen videos, I've read stories, I've seen, I've seen it on the news, I've heard it from friends, where as soon as they are stopped by a police officer, they automatically think that the worst is going to happen. Now, back in the day, the worst that could happen is that you could get a ticket. Get arrested. You go to jail for the night. The worst that can happen now is that they kill you right on the spot. And they'll get away with it. From like this, from Trayvon Martin all the way to where we are now. Even before Trayvon Martin. To where we are now. Do you, we not see? Do you not see what you are exposing these children to? If you could take. Like, like seriously. That, mo that long. Just that long. To assess a situation. You could have had a totally different outcome. Maybe you could have arrested the dad. Maybe you could have said, hey, you just, you could have, you know, asked him to get out the car, put the handcuffs on him, went in his pocket, and got the ID. Maybe that would have made you feel better. Or if you would have asked the dad to step out of the car and watch him go for his wallet. That's all it takes to assess the situation. Maybe you need a couple sets of seconds longer. That's okay. But as a police officer, you're supposed to be ready for any situation. You're supposed to be prepared for anything. You're supposed to be able to assess the situation and realize whether or not you are in danger or if anyone else around you is in danger you weren't in any danger you were not in any danger he gave you a full disclosure so at that point in time you weren't in any danger now it would have been okay for you to feel a little scared a little nervous but at that point in time you were not in any danger and if you felt like you were you could have just politely told him, you know what, forget it, don't go in your pocket at all. Like I said before, this is not about race. Nothing to do with race. This is just something that I thought I should say something on because I do have such a big soft spot in my heart for children. And... I'm I, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm just going to give a full disclosure statement. I am not a parent. I do not have any children of my own. 
but I have a huge spot in my heart for children. It hurts me personally if I see a child in distress in any situation that the child ought to not be in because of safety issues for them. It hurts me when a child is scared or hurt. This is something that this four-year-old child should have never witnessed in her short young life. Her life's just getting started. She should have never have witnessed this. I'm praying for this family. I'm I'm praying for this family, for this community. I, I'm praying that they somehow through the grace of God and through a lot of time, possibly therapy, that they can come to terms and make peace with what happened. I hope this little girl has every sense of normalcy that she can get. Because what she saw wasn't normal. And I just can't believe that she witnessed that. This is something she, she should have never seen at four years old. Never. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up and head to bed and try to make sense of the situation myself. Because like I said, this deeply, deeply disturbed me. So... I'm going to go ahead and head to bed. Um, leave a comment. Leave your opinion on the situation. Please, no negative comments at all. None whatsoever. Negative comments will be deleted. I'm not touching on this because of race or anything like that. Because I'm, I, I didn't even mention race in this video. This is just a simple right and wrong and how can you be okay with this. Because there is a child in the midst of all this. So if you have any opinions on this situation, please leave a comment below. Like I said, no negative comments whatsoever. None. Because this is already a bad enough situation in it within itself. We don't need negative comments making it worse. This video was a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know? I, I just really felt the need to speak on this. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. I hope you all enjoy your Father's Day. Um, quick side note, I'm actually trying to figure out whether or not I am going to call my father for Father's Day because we have had a bit of a strained relationship lately. So I'm I'm racking my brain on whether or not I should just call him. I feel like I should. Just to let him know that I'm still here and I still care. And that I still love him. I know my dad loves me, but we haven't had the closest relationship. So I don't know. I guess I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this situation. And, um, yeah, just let me know your thoughts. Leave a comment. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And hopefully I will be coming to you very, very soon with a much happier video. Thanks for watching. And, like I said, have a good weekend. Enjoy your Father's Day. And my prayers go out to that little girl and her family. Bye.